Hey, I thought I told you never to come in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi! Back to the Future is about a kid named Marty McFly who is uh, kind of a rebel and um, he has a friend named Doc Brown who invents a time machine. And that time machine accidentally sends him back to the year 1955. So you can come to see the show having not seen the films and completely understand what's going on. And if you do know the films well, I think all the theatricality that we're adding to it gives you more back to the future. Well, I'm just excited to continue to tell this really good story. Since it takes place in the 50s, we have to follow the structure of a great 1950s musical. The, the process began at a lunch. The purpose of the lunch was to answer the question, is it possible to do such a thing as a musical based on Back to the Future? So I get to play Biff, who's this incredibly iconic bully. I'm Jelani Remy. I am playing Mayor Goldie Wilson and Marvin Berry in Back to the Future on Broadway. So I play Lorraine Baines McFly. What's really fun is we get to meet Lorraine, sort of three different versions of Lorraine in this show. Roger Bart cannot um, keep a smile off of my face for very long. He's always um, cracking me up. Oh, uh, working with Casey, who is our, our new Marty McFly, it's been so far amazing he's he's a really really talented great great kid he's you know he's 21 so he's really like the perfect age for this well i mean have you seen the movie goldie wilson he is the diner owner that becomes the mayor of the town and and in this version he gives george mcfly the sort of inspiration to do to strive to be his best uh, i play george mcfly and that's uh marty's dad and you meet george in 1985 again we have like three different georges you meet First George is sort of downtrodden, beaten by the world, and then we go back to meet George, um, age 17, I think it is, or 18. And you meet very successful sort of Tom Cruise-y George at the end. And there's a wonderful song in Act 1 that I get to sing and sort of give George a little kick he needs to sort of get his confidence up. And then in Act 2, I become Marvin Berry, Chuck Berry's cousin. I was born about a block and a half from the Winter Garden Theater. And for that circle to now come around and, and see that marquee, it's, it's a mind-blowing, uh, wonderfully mind-blowing uh, event. I think Broadway audiences are going to love Back to the Future because it is such an American, it's such an American movie. And, you know, we, we did it in, in London and there was never, there was never a feeling like they didn't relate to it. But it, but I am looking forward to sharing it with, a, with you know, an entire American audience for a while. A lot of times with musicals you have workshops, but we had three technical workshops that were just about the technical issues that we had to solve. And that's what we did, wanting to not mess this up. That was the thing, don't mess this up. So if you love the film, you will love the musical. It's just adding to the legacy, and we're gonna bring more and more of what everybody loves about the film right to the stage, and then some. John Rando said to us day one, our job um, and our responsibility here is to take care of these characters that everybody knows and loves so well. And the great thing about the musical, unlike the movie, is that the, the characters sing, of course, and they reveal things about their characters that are so, so unique and so compelling. So, those fans of the movie, they get an extra special uh, window into the soul of each of these characters. I was a fan of Back to the Future before I ever was in the musical, so um, I'm going to take care of it just as much as I did with William and Almost Famous, and um, yeah, I hope, I hope people will see that.